Hey, new physicist here. Wind turbines have two main design categories, horizontal and vertical axis. The horizontal axis wind turbine typically has a three-blade vertical propeller that catches the wind phase on. The vertical turbine has a set of blades that spins around a vertical axis. As the name says, horizontal axis wind turbines have axis of rotation parallel to the ground and vertical axis wind turbines have axis of rotation perpendicular to the ground. Each type has its own advantages and disadvantages and is suited to different environments. If we take three blades wind turbine, then in horizontal axis wind turbine, all three blades work at a time, while in vertical axis wind turbine, one blade work at a time. To work properly, the horizontal axis turbine needs the wind to flow at a right angle to the blades. If it blows from a different direction than the blades are facing, the turbine gets much less energy from the wind. To accommodate changes in wind direction, the turbine has a yaw drive that rotates the unit's direction. However, the driver adapts slowly to changes in direction because it must turn the entire turbine and propeller assembly. By contrast, a vertical turbine runs well regardless of wind direction, making it better suited to urban areas with tall buildings where wind turbulence is a given. The vertical axis design allows it to operate on lower wind speed than is possible with the horizontal turbine. Horizontal axis turbines convert more of the wind's energy into useful mechanical motion because the blades are perpendicular to the wind direction and the blades pick up this energy throughout their range of movement. By comparison, the blades on a vertical axis turbine suffer an efficiency disadvantage, capturing energy from the wind only on the front side. At the rear part of the rotation, they drag the system. Because it requires a yaw mechanism to adjust to change in wind direction, the horizontal axis turbine is mechanically more complex than the vertical design. The gyroscopic action of the spinning blades of a horizontal axis turbine produces stress when the yaw mechanism turns to capture wind. Over time, the stress can crack the turbine blades and hub. The vertical axis turbine does not experience this stress. The horizontal turbines, a tall tower and long blades work well only in wide open spaces. Vertical turbines are generally much more compact and can be placed on building rooftops and other urban locations with fewer restrictions. The vertical unit's low height also makes it suitable for areas where wind picks a speed between buildings or over hilltops. Thanks for watching.